If you're looking for the best Taylor acoustic guitar, here's a list you must see. We made this list based on our personal preference and sorted it based on their features, prices, quality, durability, and reputation of the manufacturers and customer feedback. Also, we've included options for every type of customer. So let's get started. At the first position of our list, we have Taylor GS Mini. Our top pick is the mini version of Taylor's Grand Symphony model. Taylor's design wizard Andy Powers came up with the concept in 2010. Since then, it's been one of the best loved acoustic guitars in the world. The sound coming from GS Mini's bosom is deep and hard melting. The rich bass is well complemented by bright trebles, and the middle range is clearly defined. When the strings are strummed hard, the bass begins to disintegrate a bit, so I recommend this guitar primarily for solos. Its compact design allows for playing in small premises and traveling. The Mini is precisely 2 inches shorter than the GS, which makes the open chords easily accessible. The action is set low, but more aggressive finger pickers may want to raise it a little bit. The GS Mini responds swiftly to hard strumming and gentle finger picking. Caramel colored sapel is used to make GS Mini's back and sides, while the top is made from solid Sitka spruce. The apt selection of tone woods and the X bracing pattern with relief route are the main culprits for this small guitar's big sound. Moving on to the next at number two with Taylor Baby Mahogany BT2. The Baby Taylor was released in 1996 as a three slash four size dreadnought designed for traveling finger pickers. The design was an instant success as it showed that small guitars could be well built, highly playable, and deliver a great sound. The mahogany top looks great, but makes BT2 sound a bit shallow. By contrast, Big Baby's sound is more mature thanks to its solid spruce top. There's some X bracing inside, which supports the tone's length. If it were scalloped, the sustain would be even better. The mahogany top provides a warm and balanced mid-range, but the bass is barely heard. BT2 makes an excellent travel guitar or an extra guitar. Its compact design is perfect for family entertainment in the living room or unplugged gigs in the local club. BT2 copes very well with traditional folk and country pieces. Still, I wouldn't recommend this instrument to big pod finger pickers. The solid mahogany top is complemented with sable back and sides, a more affordable variety of mahogany. The number three position is held by Taylor GS Mini Ecoa. This limited edition electric acoustic guitar is crafted from the tropical koa wood. It combines the clean, symmetrical design of a traditional acoustic guitar with the on-stage capabilities of the ESB pickup slash preamp system. The GS Mini is one of the few electric acoustic guitars to boast a built-in digital chromatic tuner with tone slash volume controls and the LED display. The Koa top gives the GS Mini a good mid-range focus, a bright high end, and a pleasant chime. As Koa wood is pretty dense, your new GS Mini may sound a bit too bright and stiff at the beginning. The more one plays this guitar, the more its tone will open up. Over time, the guitar's warm and sweet overtones will become more mature. GS Mini E Scaled Down Design provides extra portability for traveling musicians. A shorter 23.5 inch scale compensates for the no cutaway design. The digital chromatic tuner is so easy to work with that it just invites you to plug in. Next at number 4, we have Taylor 214s. The 214s is one of Taylor's best selling guitars in the upper middle price range. It works best in the hands of an intermediate finger picker and lends itself to a wide variety of music styles like country, pop, indie pop, and jazz, to name a few. 214 CE's iridescent tone and articulate voice give this acoustic guitar a character of its own. You'll fall in love with its bright tone and a specific bell-like chime in the high. The X bracing inside gives the tone a pinch of fresh crispness to the mid-range. The grand auditorium design of 214's makes it perfect for flat picking and finger picking, but not so great for hard strumming. The ES2 preamp system blends string and body resonance in perfect harmony, capturing the dynamics and tone of the piece played. Unlike our top three candidates, the grand auditorium design of 214s may be a challenge to small framed finger pickers. The number five position is held by Big Baby Taylor, BBT. The electronic modification of Taylor's Big Baby features a solid Sitka spruce top and its back and sides are made from laminated walnut. The Big Baby is a 15 16 size guitar, which is a notch shorter than a traditional dreadnought. BBT has a deep and consistent tone with sufficient bass. 
Compared to the baby tailors, the sound is crisper, brighter, and more articulate. To me, BBT sounds a bit thin on the high end, but the mid-range delivers a satisfying growl. Try some flat picking on the couch, and you'll discover the big, baby's edgier and harsher side. BBT's 15-16 size makes it suitable for finger pickers of all builds. The guitar has a unique neck design, an ingenious combination of C and V shapes that takes playability to the next level. The traditional heel is missing on BBT, providing better access to the upper frets. The next hybrid profile is neither bulky nor too shallow, retaining the perfect width and string spacing. The number six position is dominated by Taylor Academy Teen. The last spot on our list is for a representative of the Taylor's Academy series released in 2017. Made in the company's facility in Mexico, the Academy guitars share some design features with the 100 series and the GS Mini. Taylor Academy Teen is a full-size dreadnought capable of sustaining deeper and more complex tones than its smaller siblings. The sounds most prominent in the mid and upper mid range. At the same time, the bass tones are clear and resonant. The ESB pickup and preamp eliminate most of the tone distortion during light on stage finger picking. Taylor Academy Teen is a beveled armrest for increased comfort during seated performances. The Teen responds very well to a variety of playing styles. To a softer fingerstyle approach, the guitar responds with a strong bass presence and a mellow mid-range. Moving on to the next at number 7 with Taylor Builders Edition 517. When Taylor launched its Builders Edition 517 Grand Pacific in 2019, it came as a surprise to many. Here was a vintage look, round shoulder dreadnought that had been brought kicking and screaming into the 21st century by Andy Powers' innovative E-Class Bracing. Read more about that in our buying advice at the bottom of the page. The torrified Sitka spruce top and silent satin finish help to deliver a mature, broken-in voice that comes without those tactile squeaks you normally expect from a new gloss guitar. Meanwhile, the compound carved neck profile transitions from a subtle V at the neck to a rounded C, providing superb comfort and facilitating higher fretwork. That V-class bracing provides wonderfully consistent sustain across the fretboard, along with pristine intonation that means there's less chance of hitting a sour note while finger-picking. The number 8 position is held by Taylor Builders Edition 324. Taylor's trailblazing commitment to using sustainable tone woods in its guitar building is a cornerstone of its identity, and the 324 showcased a new chapter in that story, being constructed from urban ash Shamel ash from damaged trees found in urban Californian areas. Taylor's Builders Edition 324 pairs its urban ash back and sides with a tropical mahogany top, so it emanates the classic dry and strong sound all around. The top end is present without being too trebly, and the bottom is rich but not boomy. The mids and low mids are front and center, fundamentally clear and wonderfully resonant. There's a strong mid voice on this grand auditorium, with excellent sustained clarity when finger-picking. The Builder's Edition appointments are subtle rather than showy, but they definitely matter. The upper bout armrest and chamfered body slash fingerboard edges adding comfort, and the Gato 510 Tuners 21-1 ratio offering outstanding precision. Next at number 9 we have Taylor D17 Blacktop. While the Everly Brothers and Johnny Cash brought black acoustic finishes to the fore, they're rear sight in the Taylor lineup. However, there's much more to admire with this grand, Pacific Dreadnought and Stealthy Looks. The construction here is all solid woods, with no layered or laminate timbers in sight. The D-17 sports a Sitka spruce and a mahogany neck. Taylor has selected Oven Call for the back and sides and Eucalyptus for the fingerboard two kinds of wood that are very similar in tone to rosewood, but more ecologically friendly and cost-effective. These bright and crisp wood choices are offset by what has become my favorite Taylor body shape, the Grand Pacific. The American Dream series is where you'll find Taylor's most affordable solid wood acoustics. Despite its value, though, the D17 Blacktop offers a professional spec. It's V-Class bracing delivering a wonderfully detailed single note response in the higher frets, along with a strummed character that recalls Gibson's J45. Add in a deliciously sweet high end, and you have an acoustic guitar that you won't be able to put down. Finally, the number 10 position is dominated by Taylor GT Urban Ash, featuring an adapted version of the V-Class bracing system. Called the C-Class, the GT Urban Ash is a higher-end and larger successor to the GS Mini, a mid-sized acoustic that falls somewhere between the travel guitar and a full-fat Taylor. 
The new 24-1-8 scale length works very well. Compact but wonderfully playable. It could well become the favorite acoustic guitar size for many who try it. The C-class bracing means that the compromises of higher fret tonality you often get with smaller acoustics don't apply here, and it really inspires your playing with wonderful treble resonance and no hint of dead spots. Elsewhere, the inclusion of Urban Ash and Eucalyptus showcases Taylor's sustainable approach to guitar building. The scale is akin to playing with a capo on the first fret, while the clear midrange and strong EQ balance offer a compelling combination. That's all for today. We upload music product review videos every single day. So, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for the upcoming video notification.